very interesting currency pair, uh, some pretty exciting price action in the making by the looks of it. So we're going to be looking at the dollar yen. Now, this has been on um, an absolute tear. I mean, there's a lot of fundamental reasons we won't go into this video. It's purely about how to trade this. But uh, in a nutshell, it's the differentials between interest rates pushing this, um, this pair up very, very strongly for the last oh, eight or nine months. Now, we have had talk about um, some intervention possibly incoming from the Bank of Japan or the Ministry of Finance, I should say. Um, once it hits this around this 150 level, there's the, fin the minister himself has come out this morning and said they're watching it very closely. And this takes me back. It's very similar to the situation we saw back in 2011, which can give us some indications on how to trade this. So if I have a quick look at um, the chart on the left here. This was back in 2011 when the yen was actually very strong. It was at the other end of the spectrum, and we had the uh, the Japanese jawboning to try to try to weaken it, um, threatening intervention, which you can see they did. This is a daily chart. I can't go back to hourly that far, but you can see these spikes up. And these are the interventions at the time um, the Bank of Japan did, and similar today, um, we see some interventions, a couple of in decent interventions in the last month or so on the dollar yen. Um, today and as you can see it's the same thing as last time with the fundamentals that definitely against it you're going to see these interventions spike and then you're going to see them be retraced as the traders love to test the bank of japan they love to poke them and see how far they'll go um, we've had these two decent interventions one in october uh, i think this one was back in this is october as well um, later in october and i think there was one back in september as well if we have a look We can see this one as well that was just retraced within within a couple of hours. So a couple of ways to play the intervention. Um, if you want to try to trade this possible um, intervention from the Bank of Japan. And, and if, if we go to today's action, we're seeing it really push that 150, which is that psychological level where talk is that um, the Japanese will come in again. Now, the one way to trade this is to basically short this and wait and hope that the Bank of Japan comes to your rescue and you make a spike down, take profit. I would suggest in this case, that might have worked in 2011, but I think in this case, it may be a little bit risky trusting that the Bank of Japan is gonna come in and do this. Um, the easier way, I think, the way I'll be trading it is wait for the interventions, wait for these spike downs, keep an eye on it, set some alerts if need be. Now, you don't, I, will, I wouldn't set buy limit orders on the way down because you don't know how big the intervention is going to be. The, back in 2011, they did a few smaller ones and they did some big ones. So the safest way to trade this uh, is to wait for these spike downs, wait till they start retracing, jump on board the retracement train. This. If there's no push through on the on the spike down, it means that the intervention's been um, a smaller one. Um, and with market forces and the fundamentals the way they are, it will retrace. Um, now, saying that, there's always a chance the Bank of Japan will do a, a big one. Like they In 2011, they did the same thing. They, uh, they gave it a few shots and they just literally went nuclear one day. So just be careful, wait for that retracement really to confirm. Um, but this 150 level, definitely worth watching. I've got a feeling that something will happen. And um, the Bank of Japan don't, be, don't like being tested. And eventually they will do something. How big they do it, I don't know. And how far they'll let it go past 150, I don't know. So um, look for those spike downs. Look for the retracement. Uh, jump on board if you feel that that retracement is going to have legs to get back to where it was. And um, just be very nimble though. Make sure you, you, you're careful and... and ready to jump out at any time depending what the market does. Anyway, good luck trading the intervention. It should be exciting.